What is Grab today? It's not just a ride hailing app. Thank it is you. so much more. Thank you. Tell me about the super app vision. After six years of building this together with the people of Southeast Asia, we were able to start working together with Uber as partners once we acquired the Southeast Asia's assets. Uber was struggling in Southeast Asia. So Uber had a great campaign. Um, so on-demand Uber ice cream, right? So uh, we, first of all, didn't think that that would fly as well because one, it's very, very hot in the region. <laughs> it melts and getting slushy ice cream ain't fun. Um, <laughs> So what we said was, hey, you know, what do Singaporeans, Malaysians love, uh, Thai, you know, what do they really, the king of fruits, the durian. In over 30 days, we sold 25 tons of durian, making us the biggest durian seller in Singapore. Uber doesn't give up easily. What happened? How did you end up buying their ride-hailing business? I would start with it makes a big difference uh, who's on the driver's seat, right? I think, number one, we both had tremendous respect for each other. Two, Dara just came in. He said, look, guys, it doesn't make sense to just continue you know, having this street fight, uh, literally city by city, or does it make sense to where one plus one equals 11? Mm. So that was when the conversations, obviously it was very secretive, uh, you know, Dara and I, we met in San Francisco, away from the office, away from media. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just uh, me and him in a private room. And then we started building trust that way. And, um, and we both agreed that was the best outcome for both companies. Uber owns 20% of Grab. Um, how much do you collaborate? How much is Dara so, Khazra so, Shahi, the CEO of Uber, really involved in Grab? So, so Dara is on a board. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, he's been quite busy, as you can imagine. <laughs> but you know, he's been uh, a dear friend. Uh, in, in many ways, we bounce ideas off each other, uh, a great director. Uh, we also have uh, Toyota on our board and SoftBank. Do you at all worry about giving away competitive secrets to the CEOs of a non the big ride hailers in other countries? No, they, there's a non-compete, so they wouldn't compete with us as long as they're shareholders, so. And you have no plans to expand outside of Southeast Asia? No. No focused plans. in Southeast Asia. And yet, so, you Southeast do have Asia. offices in Seattle. We visited your offices in Seattle, which yes. is where we are. Yes. Any plans to expand in the United States? Nope. Is there anything that would change that? Nope. Why not? <laughs> we actually have an R&D center in Seattle, Beijing, and Bangalore. Mm -hmm. US, China, India. One key theme, great tech talent.